Hi, thanks for stopping by and checking out one of our videos. Real quick, you can find much more training for a low, low price at softwarevideo.com. We've been training people since 1994. We have online memberships for as low as a startup fee is 99 cents for seven days or just $14.95 per month for unlimited training and access 24-7. Or you can buy it on DVDs. You can see what our new releases are. You can find us by software title, by subject, by vendor, and up here at the top through our film strip you can go by our little characters here, graphic design illustrator and so forth. I'm going to scroll down here. Here's our memberships. Very affordable. They make great gifts. So check it out and enjoy this uh, free lesson on this uh, topic. Excel 2010, the ribbon. When you open Excel, you'll notice the top two inch border is populated with a wide variety of icons. The ribbon makes it very easy. It's designed to help you quickly find the commands that you need to complete a task. And these commands are organized into logical groups that are collected together under each tab. Let's take a look. For instance, under the Home tab, we see the clipboard, font, alignment, number style cells and editing for instance. Under the home tab we when we see clipboard notice how all the icons pertaining to the functionality of the clipboard like cut, copy, paste are located here. If we were to look at the font grouping we see everything related to controlling the font uh, is available here. If we click on this particular cell then it highlights I mean it uh, pulls from it being grayed out to actually activating the cell, meaning that it's now ready to be used on this particular uh, cell. So we can bold or underline or change the color here. That's how we control those functions, those related functions to font. For alignment, if we want to align that to the left or the to the left or the right, etc., or merge it and center it, we can do that here. If we look at number, we see at the bottom corner there's a little icon and it's on a few of these. It's not on every group, but it's on several of the groups. And if we click that, let's say for instance if we were on font, the bottom corner we hover, hover over it and it highlights format cells, font. That means the font tab. If we click that, it brings up the old familiar dialog box of format cells with the font tab in particular activated. If we were to go and look at say number for instance here we would see everything pertaining to the number uh, and this was available in the older versions of Excel so it should be very familiar if you're used to using an earlier version of Excel. Let's close this. If we go down to this particular group of number of icons, the number within, you're still on the home tab and if we were to click this launcher, notice how it opens the same dialog box, Format Cells, but it highlights Number. This is where we were a few minutes ago, just another way to get there. So that alleviates some of the stress because you have familiarity with, uh, if you have familiarity with an earlier version of Excel, this kind of helps accelerate the learning curve. Um, if we go to Insert, it has a lot of the features pertaining to uh, tables, illustrations, charts, spark lines, we'll talk about those in a later lesson, etc., where you can insert all of these particular items and they're grouped together for easy, ease of location. The same with page layout, uh, the themes, you can set the effects, colors, and fonts op over the course of the whole theme of this worksheet, uh, as well as uh, page setup, etc. Uh, formulas. It can be quite overwhelming, but it makes uh, you, we can make sense of this very quickly, and we will through several lessons of using some of the formulas that Excel has built in. Data. You can import data. You can get external data. All of these icons pertain to to that sorting and filtering the data. So these are some of the things that are available to you in Excel very easily 
if you get to logically laid out, as well as if we click the file, well, we haven't been to file here, but if we were to click the file icon, I'm sorry, tab, oops, file tab, it pertains to everything, uh, all of the commands that you would use to do things to a document, such as create, save, and send. We'll talk about that in a later lesson. We can hit escape and go back to our home tab. And that concludes the introduction to the ribbon and interfacing with Microsoft Excel.